With more storms on the way, the Resource, Ma Resource Management Agency of Monterey County went to work this morning to create a channel between the Carmel River Lagoon and the ocean in order to prevent flooding. Action News reporter Bianca Beltran was there this morning. She joins us live from Monterey with a look at the project. Well, Lauren, the maintenance manager overseeing the project this morning, told me that the lagoon has been rising about a foot every 24 hours. So it was getting to that point to which a breach needs to happen in order to protect the surrounding neighborhood from flooding. A bulldozer and a crew in hard hats are not a typical sight at the beach, but Saturday morning they went to work at the Carmel River Lagoon. We're trying to um, create a swale in the barrier beach so that when the lagoon rises to an elevation of about 11 feet that it'll slowly spill over the swale and reduce the potential chance for flooding the low-lying homes here that are up against the, the backside of the lagoon. Not only do they have to protect the residents along the lagoon, but those in it as well. So rather than completely breach the lagoon, they lowered the sand about a foot and a half. The faster it cuts and goes directly to the ocean, the more quickly the lagoon will drain out um, and essentially potentially um, risk washing, you know, washing fish out to sea, for example, when they're not prepared. All the commotion attracted curious spectators like Mr. Holt and his wife, who grew up near the lagoon. I lived two blocks away over there, and uh, my friends and I would come down and we'd build, build rafts and we had a fort up on the hill and just had a, had a great time. But the lagoon wasn't always so peaceful. The big floods here and all of the houses up by the uh, highway uh, and down by the river would get flooded out. and. Uh, Kids that lived south of the river um, couldn't get to school. That's why these days the county takes these precautions. It can get very wet. It can be a raging river and then four or five days later be a, a small stream. Now the lagoon is expected to breach on its own overnight and the county is keeping an eye on those water levels because it could be as soon as tomorrow that they'll have to go back, undo that channel and block that stream. Lauren. Thanks, Bianca. Well, the area where the sand elevation was lowered today will be restricted for the next few days. The project manager asks that visitors to Carmel River Beach try not to dig in that area or change the sand levels as it could affect the lagoon.